The question, when did healthy and fit start making us heavy and sick? Since the 1970s, we've been told we need to eat less and exercise more. Today, more of us are dieting and exercising than ever, and yet more of us are overweight and diabetic than ever. What's going on here? Staying healthy is one of the most basic abilities we have as human beings. This cannot be that confusing. Remember not too long ago when we didn't know what calories were, let alone count them, and almost nobody was obese or diabetic? How did that work? Did everyone from our distant ancestors up until a few decades ago know something we don't? How were they able to stay fit, healthy, and slim so simply? Without all the confusing diet, exercise, and calorie counting programs we have today. Without all the expensive pills, powders, and potions we have today. Without even really trying. How were they able to stay so slim? So simply. What's the secret? What's the mystery? The code? The puzzle! What's the key? What's the answer? What is the secret? What if it wasn't a secret? What if I were to tell you that the most brilliant minds in the scientific and medical communities knew how to make our bodies work more like those of naturally thin people? How to get back our body's natural ability to stay slim and healthy without counting calories or spending hours exercising? How to enjoy lives of simple slimness and health like 90% of us did just decades ago? An approach that worked to heal us rather than starve us, that enables our body to burn fat 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days, Days a year rather than just a few hours at the gym. Over 1,100 international research studies and the best peer-reviewed scientific research and medical minds around the world have found it. The truth to healing our bodies rather than fighting them so we can start making healthy, healthy again. First, you must free yourself from the last few decades of dietary misinformation. Forget about starving yourself. Starvation and deprivation are not healthy. Besides, the largest increase in obesity and diabetes in history took place alongside the largest increase of dieting in history. So why would anyone tell us that more dieting is the answer? Forget about counting calories and confusing math. Start thinking about common sense, simple biology, and proven science. But wait a minute, doesn't counting calories work? Well, maybe, but why do we all of a sudden need to count calories when we were slimmer and healthier before we even knew what a calorie was? Besides, calorie math does not work the way we've been taught. For example, it's been proven that on average we are consuming about 300 more calories per person per day than we were in the late 70s. Between then and now, that adds up to well over 3 million more calories per person. Which if the starvation is healthy, count your calories, and metabolism works like math premise were true, means the average American today should weigh well over 1,000 pounds. Over 1,000 pounds. Lucky for us, biology does not work like math. It works like biology. Let's think about the biology of your body like a sink. When a sink is working properly, more water poured in means more water drains out. The water level may rise temporarily, but the sink will automatically take care of that. A healthy body works similarly, automatically balancing us out. That's why we each haven't gained even close to the 1,000 pounds we should have gained since the 1970s if we needed to manually balance calories. Our body is designed to burn more when we eat more and burn less when we take less in. Just like we use the bathroom less when we drink less and more when, you know. A healthy body is designed to balance itself out. This is called your set point weight. More in, more out automatically. Less in, less out automatically. The only time the water level stays high is when the sink becomes clogged. When the sink loses its ability to take care of more in with more out automatically. Well, when does a sink get clogged? When the wrong quality of things are put in it, things that do not belong. When a sink is clogged, any amount of water in, no matter how small, will cause the water level to rise and to stay high. Well, wait, why don't we just turn the faucet down even more, cut the water level altogether, and keep the water level down forever? Well, that could work, except that we would inevitably starve to death. The answer is not to cut off food entirely, but instead to fix the underlying problem. We must unclog our sink. Our bodies become hormonally clogged when we put the wrong quality of food in them, causing the level of body fat to stay elevated. We have an elevated set point. Eating less is just like turning the faucet down. It doesn't actually fix anything, and it doesn't do a thing about the clog. We can keep our drain and our body from overflowing simply by only putting things in them they were designed to handle. By focusing on quality rather than quantity. Just like no quantity of clean water will ever clog a sink, 
No quantity of the high quality clean foods we were designed to eat will ever clog our body. Eat smarter, not less. Problem solved. Wait, what do I eat then? We eat clean, high quality, hormonally clog clearing foods that restore our body's natural ability to keep us slim. Well, and those are? Excellent question. The quality of our calories depends on four fascinating factors. Satiety, how quickly calories fill us up and how long they keep us full. Aggression, how likely those calories are to be stored as body fat. Nutrition, how many nutrients those calories provide. And efficiency, how many calories can be stored as body fat. The more satisfying, unaggressive, nutritious, and inefficient a calorie is, the higher its quality, the more sane it is, the more body fat burning hormones it triggers, helping us to clear our clog and prevent overeating. The more unsatisfying, aggressive, not nutritious, and efficient a calorie is, the lower its quality, the more insane it is, the more body fat storing hormones it triggers, contributing to our clog and encouraging overeating. When we eat sane, high quality calories, we provide our body with an abundance of nutrition. We automatically avoid overeating because these calories are so satisfying. And most importantly, we create a hormonal environment that dissolves our metabolic clog. They are like a natural liquid plumber for our biological sink. When we see how sane foods heal us, why it's so much simpler to eat more of them instead of starving ourselves is clear. And they are easy to identify because there are only three primary factors controlling the sanity of food, water, fiber, and protein. Water, fiber, and protein rich foods are sane. On the other hand, dry, relatively low fiber and low protein foods are insane. Starches and sweets such as cookies and bread and pasta and potatoes are some of the insane foods that will contribute to a hormonally clogged sink. When choosing your sane foods, seek short ingredients lists and stay on the perimeter of your grocery store. Avoid heavily packaged and processed food. If your grandma wouldn't recognize it, don't eat it. The more natural it is, the more sane it is. Smarter eating, staying clog free and staying slim, simply like our ancestors and our naturally thin friends is simple. Eat way more non-starchy vegetables, way more seafood and nutritious meats, more low sugar fruit and more nuts and seeds. Get so full and satisfied from eating as many sane foods as you want, whenever you want, that you're too full for dessert. So go ahead, double the portion of your nutritious high protein main dish. Triple that side of non-starchy veggies. Eating at an Asian restaurant, great. Eat all the protein and the vegetable main dish rather than half of that dish and lots of rice. Eating somewhere else, simply tell your server, hold the starch and double the veggies. And chow down, leaving no room for dessert. Never go hungry again. Remember, non-starchy vegetables, nutritious protein, fruits, nuts, and seeds were the only foods available to us while our metabolic system evolved. So when you think about it, it really makes sense that these foods are water to our metabolic sinks, what we're designed to take in, what keeps us in balance simply, and what keeps us from overflowing automatically. Sane, natural, water, fiber, and protein-rich foods are and always have been the best fuel for our bodies. Our ancestors stayed clog-free, healthy, and slim effortlessly and we can too if we stick to putting clean water in our sinks. So instead of complex and counterproductive starvation and calorie counting approaches that are only needed if we eat clog causing unnatural starches and sweets in the first place, let's stick with simple proven science instead. Let's stick with the fact that our biology doesn't work like math. It works like biology. Let's eat more, but smarter. Let's focus on high quality food. Hunger isn't healthy. We don't need to exercise for hours. We don't need expensive pills or complex prescriptions. This doesn't have to be complicated. This isn't some expensive Hollywood secret that only the rich and famous know about. The secret is that there is no secret. All you need is the science, the knowledge and the answers that have been with us since the beginning of time to restore your body's natural ability to burn fat rather than to store fat. The ability to use biology to heal your body instead of starving it, enabling it to work more like it is designed to, more like the body of a naturally thin person. And if you're thinking, I don't have time or money to watch what I eat, think again. 
This is as easy as slapping a piece of meat on the grill or sticking a piece of fish in the oven, and as cheap as steaming a few handfuls of non-starchy veggies. And I don't know about you, but a little more time in the kitchen sure beats a lot more time in the gym. Not to mention losing those gym memberships and medical expenses altogether. Now who's saving time and money? You are. Millions of Americans today are changing their lives with the power and confidence of knowing how to change their body. And you can too. You can enjoy food again. You can eat more, but smarter. Let's heal rather than fight our bodies with an abundance of natural nutrition and enjoy the foods we were meant to enjoy, foods we were made to enjoy. Let's remember that starvation isn't healthy. Food isn't our enemy. In fact, eating an abundance of high quality food is our most powerful and affordable tool to avoid obesity, diabetes, and other diet related problems. Let's remember that this is one of the simplest things in the world, something that we've been doing for hundreds of thousands of years without even trying, something we're designed to do naturally, something we can do again, now. Let's stop making ourselves heavy and sick. Let's stop complicating healthy and fit. Let's start making healthy, healthy again.